Hello, uh, my name is Anthony Irwin and I've been trading with the Forex Trade Room since January 2013. I still consider myself a student, learning more and more all the time thanks to the guys in the Trade Room. Uh, and a lot of new people often ask, you know, about setting up profiles and templates to bring up their charts quickly and easily and and I've often posted in there what I've done and they've asked if they could get a copy of the templates which I, I, I usually give um, just through a download on my website so I thought I'd put together a video on how I use the templates, how to set the templates up and just a web link so people can just download it whenever without me making it available. Uh, before I get into the um, into the, I guess, the tutorial. I just thought I'd give a quick testimonial to ForexTradeRoom.net. So, uh, Robin Hood and Little John in the trading room, they, they are very dedicated to helping traders out to learn how to trade. And unlike a lot of the other educational providers out there, they actually trade. You can go in the trade room and you can see that they're trading day in and day out and that they're making money. They're not there to make money from people paying for the education, they, they actually trade. Uh, which is very rare I think in the in the Forex trading world. There's a lot of people that just, you know, sell their courses and that's how they make their money. Um, you know, we're all traders here and, and people like to see the trading setup. Uh, so I thought I'd do the first part with me in front of my trading setup. So I have a six monitor computer setup that I use for the charts and then over at the side I have my laptop where I would have the trading room if, if we were trading it's it's um, not London session yet and on the side of the laptop over here I have a little monitor where I usually have like a trade management window that shows me all my trades that are open because when you're trading with forextraderoom.net you open up a lot of trades, a lot of trades. They they make so many calls, it's not funny. You're in so many trades at any one time that it's easy to lose track of what you've got open. And so I just have that on the side because quite often, even with six monitors, it's very difficult to pull up all the charts that, you, that you're actually in a trade for. So that's why I have that little additional monitor on the side. Um, so that's basically my setup here. Um, and now I'll get into the uh, into the tutorial section. Okay, traders. As you can see, this is uh, pretty much a default installer MetaTrader four. Uh, you can see here that um, it's just got their default um, templates and profiles. Um, and so, what I'm basically going to do is show you how to set this up to work with the templates that I've created to work with the Forex Trade Room. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is bring up a copy of Windows Explorer. Um, and then if we go to the C drive, Program Files x86, and then to wherever you've installed MetaTrader for. So I've installed it to MT4 Tutorial. And what we want to do is we just want to get rid of all these default profiles. Um, just so, and the default templates because we don't really care about them, so we just want to delete them. Go yes, continue, and then uh, just close out of this. The next thing that we want to do is in MetaTrader 4, go up to the File menu, and go Open Data Folder. And what that does is that opens the data folder for the um, the copy of MetaTrader that you're running. So then we want to go to Templates, Profiles, and MQL4, and we just want to hit we just want to delete them as well. Okay, so that will basically give us a fresh start. Um, so then if we go, um, you got to download the um, the video. Sorry, download the the download that's underneath this this video. And I've just got it here in the downloads area. And if you copy that, um, if we click back and then back again, we're back into our, our MetaTrader 4 directory. 
and then if we paste that there it'll copy in all of the, the templates that I've created for you guys okay uh, so then if you close out of this and then we need to close out of um, MetaTrader 4 and then if we bring the, that copy of MetaTrader 4 back up at the moment it's still running on the default um, but if I get rid of all this stuff down the bottom we'll see here now we have a big list of of currency pairs so if we wanted to bring up Odd Canada we could bring up Odd Canada um, now the first time you run through the uh, the templates it takes a little bit of time to update because it's got to download the data um, so this is what the currency pairs look like in my set of templates we have a world clock here I, I live in Australia so sometimes it's um, it's handy to be able to see what time it is in London so I can see that it's 4.40 in the morning in London so I've got a couple of hours before London session um, and I can see that it's um, 23.40 in New York so still got a couple of hours before you know training becomes more active so that's why I'm doing these videos for you now um, and then we say we got the one minute chart, the five minute, 15 minute, one hour, four hour and daily. So on a smaller monitor, even this um, tutorial monitor, you can kind of get a reasonable look at the market. Now if you want to bring up a full screen chart, you can just double click it and you can see that that it's being um, coming up in full screen. To bring it back down, just double click down here again and it pops back in. If you wanted to see a weekly chart, you can click weekly or monthly up here and then just click back to daily before you change to another profile because otherwise you'll um you'll override it. If you've got a bigger monitor, you could also add in an extra two charts for for weekly and monthly if you wanted to. Um, now the other profiles that we have is up here I have all the different uh, currency pairs plus the indices so if you click the odd pairs it's currently set at five minute but if you wanted to see it at 15 minute or an hour or whatever you can just click in each one and change it and then when you move to the next pair it will um, it will automatically always display that in the future um, okay so the other thing that's in here. Um, so let's go to say the US dollar pattern finder. Okay, and it looks like there's a bit of a pattern there. So you can double click it and you can see that it's brought up the pattern for you. Um, so any of the, the different patterns it will be there. Um, now on a small on a bigger monitor you don't have to scroll as much but I also have a news indicator that will show you the news that's coming up and that just all comes from um, Forex Factory which is the main place that people go to to get their, their data and I'm going to press Ctrl F5 to move to the next profile it also has a scorekeeper here and your open trades down here on our special information tab um, now if you wanted to quickly go through and analyze the entire market probably the easiest way is if you go up to the very top symbol odd card and you can just press control F5 to bring up the next pair and then you can press control F5 again you'll get another pair come up and you can just keep doing that control F5 and it'll just continue to um, to pull up new pairs. Now once you've gone through all the all the pairs and the data has been downloaded it doesn't take as long when you switch between them so if I go shift F5 just let this update all the data okay so another thing I should probably point out is on my my charts you see you've got a little clock there but it's cut off so you can click up here just because this is a smaller monitor and you can drag drag these across Oops. and it will tell you how much more time you've got remaining on on the uh, the bar so this is a 15 minute bar and you can see that you have 25 seconds left 
um, and this is a four hour one down here you can see that we have an hour and 15 minutes left for that four hour bar so so that's very very handy because you can instantly know just by looking at um, at the chart that you're on so you know that this one hour bar here only has 14 minutes left on it so you can see very quickly uh, how long you've got until the close of the candle okay all right so I guess I'll quickly go through um, go through adding in the custom Fibonacci levels with you now so let's say um, you draw your um, your Fibonacci line um, and let's say you wanted to add in some custom Fibonacci levels that aren't currently in here I'll just um, pull up the old version of this page because this is an update for the new MetaTrader um, so when it comes up um, so I'll have the the Fibonacci levels listed on this um, Oops. So underneath the video I have the Fibonacci level. So let's say you wanted to add in the 78.6 and the 88.6. What you can do is you can double click this line so you get the little dots and right click and go to Fibo properties. Then if we go to Fibo levels you can see that you've got all the existing Fib levels. Um, so then if we add it now we wanted to add 78.6 so it would be 0.786 and the description will make it 78.6 and we wanted to also add the 88.6 so we click add and go 0.886 88.6 and click OK and now we can see that we have the, those two extra Fibonacci levels uh, now if we were to delete that Fibonacci level and then draw it again it remembers it um, so if you wanted to change um, the color you can change the color you can change all sorts of different things um, but changing those Fibonacci levels isn't something that's very obvious so I thought I'd put that into the video uh, now I'll just do a quick discussion on multi monitors uh, obviously I have a six monitor setup uh, and the way that I prefer to do it is to run a copy of MetaTrader 4 on each particular monitor that I have I know a lot of people like MT4 floating charts so so feel free to check that out as well but by having a copy of MetaTrader on every single uh, computer monitor that I have I can just come down here and just quickly change to whatever to whatever chart I want so if I wanted Eurocad on one monitor I could pull it up if I wanted to have say odd USD on another I could have odd USD on another monitor and I can just click down here and very quickly change so let's say I wanted to see all the USD pairs I could just bring it up and um, so each monitor I can very quickly pull up whatever whatever pair I'm interested in. If I wanted to see oil, I could bring up oil on another monitor. And so I just find that that for me personally is the quickest way to change the currency pairs of these templates that I've that I've created. Um, so feel free to try out the MT4 floating charts if that's what you want to do, but I just like to install a copy of MetaTrader 4 on every monitor and um, and just quickly change by clicking down here normally and just choosing what I want if I do my market analysis I can just click up here go control F5 control F5 control F5 and just quickly move between them and these ones that have already downloaded the data you can see that it very quickly brings up the data this one obviously hasn't downloaded the data yet so it takes a little bit of time the first time you go to it um, but to go backwards through the pairs you can go shift F5 and just keep pressing shift F5 um, and so I find that it's a very quick way to to go through my charts um, now another quick thing that we can do is if we go to the tools menu and go to options um, on this um, 
this server tab, let's say you have multiple brokers and you want to have an easily remember password on all of them, on the server tab you can click the change button and you just cop put in your current password and down here you've got the master password you can put a new master password in or you can also put in an investor password so if you're using something like mt4i.com you can um, change your investor password as well so so if you're setting up trading accounts on multiple devices like desktop computers laptops maybe your mobile phone or an iPad or something it makes it very easy if you know what your password is so I generally change my password to something that I know which I find is very very handy uh, the other thing that you may want to do is go to the trade menu and click this one click trading and that just makes it very easy to um, to get in and out of trades to move your stop losses with your by dragging and clicking and dragging the stop loss line uh, take profit line stuff like that uh, and the last thing is um, the expert advisors if you're going to use them what you might want to do is click this box here um, untick these two boxes, tick the live trading, click allow imports, untick the confirm and by doing that whenever you change between profiles or or change between accounts you don't have to keep turning on the expert advisor up here you can see that it's currently off uh, but if you click OK then it will um, then it'll always be running when we change between profiles you can see it stays stays running up there and you don't really have to worry about it now with these profiles that I've got I don't really have any expert advisors running I've just got mainly indicators that do the the custom clock down the side here uh, and the world clock um, so another quick thing that you may may want to know is let's say you wanted to know how many pips is from the top to the bottom like let's say you thought it was going to go back up you want to this 200 moving average what you can do is middle click your mouse button and kind of click and hold and drag and then you'll see there that you have um, 86 868 that's the pip so it's 86.8 pips because uh, of the, the fractional um, pips uh, MetaTrader 4 for some reason they still haven't updated it to like to have the decimal there properly but it's 86.8 pips um, there where it says 51 it would be 5.1 pips um, so that's just something that you have to remember now if you're using a laptop what you can do is press Control F because uh, you may not have a mouse with a middle middle click button so Control F will do the same thing um, okay so the other keyboard shortcuts is to enter a trade uh, you can press the F9 key alright so that's a very handy one just press F9 and you get the trade come up for the chart that you're on uh, if you wanted to bring up the trade manager you can press Control T now this is just a, a demo account that I installed for this new copy of MetaTrader I installed for the demo so it's just a three thousand dollar account and no trades have been made so control T to get rid of the trade manager if you wanted to bring up the um, the market watch window it'd be control M and you'd see all your currency pairs um, in here uh, now for some reason if the broker adds new symbols or you don't see them all what you can do is you can right click and you can click show all and it will show all the symbols um, so that's control M to get rid of the market watch control N will bring up the navigator window where you can have your custom indicators and any custom expert advisors that you have that you can just drag onto your charts uh, and obviously you've got your accounts and stuff lifted up here this is a demo account that's the only thing in here because this is my my tutorial account um, so the other thing I guess that's handy is if you're running on a laptop or a scroll, smaller monitor you can press the LF, F11 key and you can see all this extra space that we have down here because it's gotten rid of the um, all the menu bars um, so I think at the moment this is a um, you know a pretty thorough intro to MetaTrader 4 that should hopefully uh, get you up and running pretty quickly with it so hopefully you find this uh, useful um, the templates alone is many many hours of work and um, if you ever try to customize them or create your own you'll you'll see that um, so I hope that you you get benefit from 
from this uh, distribution of the, the profiles. Okay.